everybody, welcome to North Metro TV. It's softball, the Tartan Titans against the Spring Lake Park Panthers. I'm Jeff Dinsmore along with GW Cox. And uh, yep, we haven't seen a ball game yet. We have <laughs> I haven't not. seen one yet. <laughs> we, are all, we are on the verge and softball is imminent here between the Panthers and the Titans, Jeff. It was a bit of a traffic jam. We understand it kept the Titans away from us for just a little bit longer than we were expecting, but we are going to get bas excuse yeah. me, softball underway. I was a whole season behind. We're gonna get <laughs> softball underway here today. The Panthers at 10 and four into this one, non-conference action against Tartan at six and eight. And uh, you know, the thing of it is, is that uh, it's almost time for the playoffs now. <laughs> Already, <laughs> when it comes to, it's, uh, it seems like it's time for the playoffs when it comes to the calendar date, Jeff, yeah. but for the amount of games that these teams have played, certainly not quite seeming like we should be there just yet. Yep. The Panthers, uh, of course, in blue today, coming in with those 10 wins on the season, trying to make it 11, and they will send Alex Reynolds to the hill to try the circle. I suppose you're in softball to try and do that. First batter, Morgan right. Brady for Tartan, then Herzog and Laney Hennahan. First pitch taken down low, and we are underway here on North Metro TV, J.W. Cox alongside Jeff Densmore. Brady, the first baseman, Claire Herzog, the right fielder, and Laney Hennahan, the catcher. 1-0 is inside corner at the knees for strike, and it's 1-1. One and one. Tartan running into the traffic issues, getting here on a beautiful spring day. Could have some storms around yeah. following after this, but we should be plenty good for this game to get it underway and in. Pitch taken for a ball, it's 2-1. Brady ground ball to shortstop. That's Matty Walrath over to first base in time, but wide. And the E6 will put the runner on at first base. Yeah. Brady will be there for her zone. There's a nice chance there to get the ball, but uh, went too far. So an error behind Alex Reynolds, the sophomore starting pitcher. She's been on the radar of this Panther program for a long time. It has a bunch shown by Herzog and drop back foul. Spending some time with the team as an eighth grader, as well as then last year being the number two pitcher on this squad as just a freshman. See Herzog, the junior right fielder. Panthers are seven of the last six games. Three Pitch swung on and missed. Three in a row, eight, about time. Three in a row, a couple of big wins yeah. on the season. Yeah. They've scored runs in bunches, and more importantly, Jeff, held teams down. Yep. They're yep. allowing the fewest runs in the North Suburban Conference so far. Just under three per game. There's a slow ground ball down to first base. Throw over to first by Thunborg is in time. Ooh, throw ooh. over to second, excuse me. Just in time to get the lead runner. So on the fielder's choice, it goes 3-6, and Herzog is safe at first base with one down. Well, that was a good play, but boy, I'll tell you what, I think I would have just went down the uh, went step to the on the base. Yeah, but she didn't. But uh, she got the uh, front, front of the runner and uh, went out. Laney Hanahan, the catcher, will stand in. Hitting in the third spot, fouls it straight back to us. The on one Defensively for the Panthers, Thunborg there at first base, Hatton in at second, Walrath the shortstop. Polish at third, Griffin in left, Lutke in center, Peck in right, and Skierka behind the plate. Catching the offerings from Reynolds. And sent back towards center field, Lutke back a few steps underneath, it makes the catch and there's two away. So the error thus far stranded at first base. And now Abby Langer will stand in for the Titans. Nice catch. By Luke Key, center, uh, center field. The tall second baseman, Langer, takes the first pitch strike and it's on one. She's going to University of North Dakota. A lot of seniors that are headed to continue their career in this squad as that was popped up foul territory. Polish over to give it a look and she won't quite get there as it drops foul. Onto the outfield grass, Griffin Walruff over as well. So new life at 0-2 for Langer. If 
Five of the six seniors on this Tartan squad will be playing college baseball next year. That one popped up in fair territory. Back of second base moving over Walrath, the shortstop. She makes the catch. So a leadoff error does no damage. And the Titans strand one after one half here on North Metro TV. No runs, no hits, and an error on the Spring Lake Park Panthers as we are underway. J.W. Cox and Jeff Densmore, the Panthers, will get their first ups here in this bottom of the second inning for head coach Lori Lightbody and see what they can do to back up Alex Reynolds. Panthers with a uh, good team, actually, a good hitting team in the defense as well. Panthers uh, in fourth place in the North Suburban uh, Conference which, uh, you know, coming in at uh, 10 and four or six and three, actually, uh, you know, for fourth, that, that uh, you know, that you'd think they'd be up a little higher, but uh, and a lot of the teams in the Suburban are looking real well. Springer Park beat uh, Fridley 17 to nothing and uh, beat uh, North Branch as well, 11 to two. So they can put some points on the board. Those are some of their higher scoring games of the season with those 17 and 11 runs. and. And you mentioned it, Jeff, it's already going to be playoff time here shortly. Yeah. And I think the coaching staffs of all these teams taking what they can get and very happy to get 10 wins considering you kind of were thrown into this season. As you take a look at the Panthers at the dish today, it'll be Lexi Lukey leading things off the center fielder. Matty Eskirka, the catcher, hitting second. Katie Thunborg at first, batting third. And the Walraff, Griffin, and Thunborg. Shortstop, left fielder, and designated player. And then Polish, Hattonen, and Peck. Rounding things out in the 7-8-9 spot at third base, second base, and right field. So it all starts with Lexi Lukey. Lead off hitter, a little bit of power. A good job getting on base throughout most of her career here as well. For the senior. It's one of three seniors on this roster. Along with Griffin and the first baseman, Thunborg. Reaching on the offering and missed. It's Keedy Ton, the right-hander, dealing to Lexi Lukey for the Tartan Titans. Ooh. Line right back up over the head of the second baseman and Lexi Lukey will have a leadoff single out into shallow right field. And that's how the Panthers will start. You have a good leadoff hitter, Jeff, and that's gonna lend to scoring those runs in bunches like we talked about. Absolutely, and she's fast also. She can she can move. So check on her over there at first base. Is the catcher, Matty Eskirka. Stands in, takes the pitch inside. You see the catcher, Hanahan, popping right up out of the crouch to keep an eye on Lutke over there at first base. 13 driven in for Iskirka. Takes strike one, it's one and one. Bit of a hazy cloud cover, but the sun yeah. shining through plenty bright. Pitch taken, throw down a little bit wide and then dropped and an easy stolen base for Lexi Lukey. And in scoring position right there from the get-go. As it's one and two on Iskirka. Runner in. Pitch fouled straight back. Iskirka stays alive, it'll be Katie Thunborg to follow. Could be a perfect storm for the Panthers offense. Thon delivers down low, the throw back behind the runner at second is in time as Lukey slipped as she got caught too far off at second base and then the strong throw from Hennehan. And that picks her off 2-4. So there's one away. Yeah, that was an, a great opportunity there, but nice play, but she did just slip on it. You see all Hennehan every time jumping out of that crouch to make sure Lukey wasn't going anywhere. Lexi took the extra step, slipped down. Couldn't get back in time. Strong throw to the bag. Saw that impressively in the warm-ups that Tartan took. Hanahan hitting second base square on the bag two times on a practice throwdown. The 2-1 is popped up foul. Come right behind us. Back behind us. It'll be one and two. I didn't bring a glove. I didn't either. Yeah. Oh, you would have had that, though, with a glove, no <laughs> doubt. Just yeah. out of the oh, reach. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Thought about it and took it. 
off the outside part of the plate on the full count pitch, and it's a walk now, so that pick off at second base huge as Katie Thunborg will stand in now with one down and a runner on at first base. And the replay there, the just outside. Good Ooh. job to hold off on yeah, that. That's close. Tempting up high, and the courtesy runner will check in. Comes Thunborg now. Another left-handed hitter. 439 on the season with 13 driven in. Hitting right in the heart of the lineup. It's Keedy Ton, the junior starter for Tartan. And Tartan has had some struggles giving up runs this year. Ball taken down low for ball two, it's two and oh. Five runs a game on average allowed by Tartan this year. And they've still found a way to win six of those games. It's fouled straight back out of the classic Suburban Conference. And they're also in fourth place in their conference, but as Jeff said, a pretty tough conference on the side of the Panthers to have 10 wins and be in fourth place. Tartan, good to be in contention. Ground ball down towards first base and foul. Yeah, the thing of it is, is that North Suburban is, uh, you know, they're actually always good. And uh, it's like North, North, let's see, North Branch is there and Chisago's there, Fridley's there, but you know what? You still got Benil, uh, Tatino Grace, you know, so it, it's, it's tough. Some perennial powers that yep. just somehow seem to reload. Yeah. Panthers hanging right there with them. They can set up for a run as that one's flared down the left field side. Fair territory now just crossing into foul territory. Hazard makes the catch for out number two. Fly out to left field, and now Matty Walrath, the shortstop. Clean off hitter for the Panthers. Just a sophomore. Right in the heart of that lineup. Rips it out towards right field. Right fielder though moving over, had some time as high as it she was. It. And Herzog lets it go off the glove and so everybody's gonna be safe. Whoa. And runners at second and third. So a bit of a lucky bounce on the E7 that time. Yeah. I thought she had plenty of time and she did. She got under it. So yeah. Iskirka goes up to third, Walrus at second for Nicole Griffin, one of the three seniors on this roster, the left yeah. fielder. Looked like she had it, actually, it, you know. I had already turned away. Yeah. Griffin takes the strike, and it's 0-1. So an error for each team here in this first inning. One hit for the Panthers, no hits in that top half of the first for Tartan. Ripped into left field. That's going to score at least one and just one. Now it gets past the left fielder and will score two. So again, it rolls past the left fielder all the way up to second base goes Griffin. Single and an error. Give her one RBI on the scoring of Iskirka. And then the E7 lets Matty Walriff come all the way home and lets Griffin go up to second. Opportunistic for with the Panthers. That was going to be an RBI single anyway, but now the inning continues with two runs in. A runner at second for Amy Thunborg. Pitch taken for a strike. And again, Griffin, a runner off of second base, being very cautious as she saw Lexi Lutke get caught off of first base. Off of second, excuse me. Pitch popped up, might stay in play. First baseman over and she drops at that time. That's Brady. Dropping it in foul territory. The 0 and 2. Another chance here now. Make him pay for a Third error of the inning, that one's flared foul up the first base side. Stay at 0-2. Panthers jip out on top. Leadoff single, a race on a pickoff 2-4. Then a walk, an error in left field. A hard single, an error in right field, excuse me, then a hard single. Followed by the error in left field to score two runs. This one popped up. 
Shallow left, short stop out, and this time Stiff is able to hang on to it as Thunborg pops out to end the inning. And after one, it's the Panthers leading two to nothing over Tartan and the Titans on North Metro TV. If you need seamless gutters, whether the job is large or small, you can say, I know a guy. For your full service landscaping, you can say, I know a guy. If you need commercial or residential lawn care, you can say, I know a guy. I'm Charlie Walker, and if you need professional seamless gutters, landscaping, and lawn care, you can say, I know a guy. In the nation, our agents are always there, helping make sure that when your life changes, your nationwide insurance coverage changes too. We put members first because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation where protection is personal. Nationwide is on your side. In Anoka County, contact Twin Cities Insurance Group, your nationwide insurance agent. Tuning up in our score here on North Metro TV. And Smiley Park has got two runs, but a uh, couple of costly errors for Tartans that uh, has gotten the uh, Panthers up. Certainly open the door as Allison Hazard will lead things off here in the top of the second inning. Hazard, Wheeler, and Bruno, left fielder. Hazard made one of those errors that allowed a second run to come home on an RBI single. She takes a ball inside, it's 2-0. Just a sophomore. Team will have some turnover next year. Hazard takes a strike there on the 2-0, it's 2-1. Head coach Brian Larson. Flashing signs down in the third base box is Reynolds set for her second inning of work. She worked around an error by her own team. Shot foul down past Coach Larson. Jeff caught the cheer right as uh, Spring Lake Park was headed out of the dugout. It was play D, no E. That's what they're <laughs> looking for. All popped up and foul. And there's car number one. Dinked by a foul ball. Keep a running total on that, no doubt. Reynolds has come back to even it up at two and two. Ball pushed right through the middle of the infield for a base hit. That's the first hit allowed by Reynolds and Hazard leads off. So the second straight inning with a leadoff running. And now it's April Wheeler standing in. Wheeler, the center fielder. Headed to Winona State to play her college softball at the Division II level. Pitch taken for a strike. We'll see how the command of Reynolds goes throughout this game, Jeff, and see if she can pound the strike zone a little bit like she did in the first inning. At least pitched to some contact. Well, they've only got one hitting or one hit for uh, Tart, but uh, it's a nice bunt. Bunt softly, third baseman with the field and the throw over to first is in time and held on to that time. Polish with a good throw up to second base goes Hazard on the sacrifice. Sacrifice 5-3. Technically, I suppose that was sacrifice 5-4 with yeah. the second baseman covering. But there's one away for Sammy Bruno, the third baseman. Eighty degrees, you gotta love this, huh? This is perfect. Perfect weather. Oh. I could use a canopy, but that's about <laughs> it. Yeah, my head's gonna be red now. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna have some color, you and yeah, me, Jeff. Yeah, a little bit. 
being 0 1. Outside corner for West Rankin, it's 0 2. Run at second base. One out. Reynolds gets the big out with the strikeout, her first punch out of the game, and there's two away. That runner's still stranded out there at second base for Keedy Tan. Check that. It is Keedy Tan. Pitch fouled down the first base side. The opposing pitcher. Trying to come up with the clutch knock. Her team trailing it two to nothing. Talk about winning three in a row for Spring Lake Park. Tartan has lost three of their last four games. Popped up, foul territory. Just shy of the North Metro TV truck. Hey, there it is. Foul straight back. The 0 2. A large and helpful crowd here at Spring Lake Park gathering up some of those foul balls and watching the Panthers and Titans. That one just staying in the field of play. He'll stay at 0 2. So a good fight here by Keedy Ton against her opponent. The two pitchers going at it here. Strike three called and a great pitch. She put it right where Iskirka wanted it. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to end the inning and strand a runner after one and a half. Panthers lead it two to nothing on North Metro TV. In the nation, our agents are always there helping make sure that when your life changes, your nationwide insurance coverage changes too. We put members first because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation where protection is personal. Nationwide is on your side. In Anoka County, contact Twin Cities Insurance Group, your nationwide insurance agent. With gold at all time high, Take that rope and say bye-bye. Earrings, bracelets, rings, and chains. We buy gold at your exchange. Don't send your gold to oh, someone strange. strange. We buy gold at your exchange. Spring Lake Park, Frilly Blade. We buy gold at your exchange. Well, there's our score, two to nothing in the bottom of the second inning. JW Cax along with Jeff Dinsmore. Two to nothing. You see that 0 1 and 3 for the Tartans and 2 2 and 1 for the Panthers. Tom delivers the second pitch outside for the ball, and it's 2 and 1. Excuse me. 1 and 1. Leah Polish, Brianna Hattonen, and Amanda Peck. The seven, eight, and nine hitters here in the second inning, leading two nothing. Pitch foul, short and back, just shy of the screen. Now it'll be one and two. Two fifty hitter, eight runs driven in. Make it six runs driven in, eight scored. It's an RBI single by Nicole Griffin. That led to the two runs. Second coming home on an error. Back in the first. That one popped up. Yeah. That would be Jeff with a glove. That, I needed that glove, too. Hey. <laughs> Just out of the reach. Yep. They one and two. Swing so oh. and a miss. A great fastball riding inside on the hands of Polish, and she couldn't do anything with it. Strikeout number one for Tom. Comes Brianna Hatton in second baseman. 
And good movement coming in on the hands. Polish just not a lot of chances with that. Hatton takes the 1-0 pitch upstairs for a ball. It's 2-0. She brings it pretty good there. Ooh. Ton, just a junior on this team. It features the six seniors. Not a real deep roster for Tartan anyway. Ball upstairs, it's 3-0. That one just misses ball four, so the second walk of the game, one in each inning so far for Ton, and that'll bring up the number nine hitter, Amanda Peck. One down here in the bottom of the second inning. Peck, the right-handed hitter. Trying to get things going on the season with that batting average. Chance here to help the cause as she takes a strike. And again, Hennahan, the catcher for Tartan. She'll catch a runner napping if they do. Runners have to be on their toes. Oh, one in there, strike two, it's 0 2. A lot of waiting around before this game for the Panthers. It hasn't affected them so far. They've taken this 2 to nothing lead. We have runner on first, the 0-2 pitch foul back. JV action going on behind us as well. The 0-2 reach for, popped up left side. Foul territory and it will drop Ooh. just fouls the third baseman. <laughs> Bruno took an awful chance that time. The shortstop was looking at the third base, and the third base is looking at shortstop, and nobody caught it. Just a foot or so foul. Peck has another chance at 0 and 2. Pitch swung on, popped up again. Foul this time, shallow third base side. Spin untouched into the screen. Another foul ball, that one headed back to the JV field. They just finished up an inning, so that's fortunate on that side. Stay at 0-2. Ball back, I believe that caught the umpire on its way back to the screen that time, and a long at back continues. Strike out, then a walk. One out and one on. Already up two to nothing for the Panthers. Ooh, she wanted that one. Woo. One and two. On the one, two, swung on and missed in the dirt. Throw down to first base, gets down the line. So that's gonna allow the runner to go all the way to third base. Hold there, now fire through, the throw comes in wide. And a bold move all the way from first by Brianna Hatton and she was being held. But it pays off as the throw sails wide. It's three nothing Panthers. Still standing on first base. There's Amanda Peck who reached there on the strikeout. Wow. Strikeout E2, so another error for the Titans there on that throw down to first base, trying to complete the strikeout. Well, Coach Live body uh, held, you know, hold, hold, stay, stay. She just kept right on going. Had the play <laughs> over her left shoulder, so. Now let Lexi Lutke's up there. She singled and was caught off of second base. Now pushes it foul up the first base side. Kick save and a beauty by the first baseman. <laughs> 
Lutke shows bunt, pops it up foul. She'll be down on the count of one, too. Another error gives a run to the Panthers that time. Lutke chasing. She's strikeout number two of the inning for a make it strikeout number three. Three out. And that's the third out. All right. We'll go to the top of the third inning. Three nothing. The Panthers with the lead. Broadcast is brought to you by Nationwide Insurance. Contact your local Nationwide Insurance agent, Twin Cities Insurance Group. Your Exchange Check Cashing. We buy gold at your exchange. Charlie Walker Companies. I know a guy. They can handle all of your exterior needs. So the Panthers lead three to nothing. Only two hits for the Panthers, but uh, four errors by the Tartans, and uh, they've gotten three unearned uh, runs for the uh, Panthers. Jeff, I don't know what it is about you and me. We seem to do some softball games where there's a lot of errors. I think we had a couple of these last year as well. I think you're right, yeah. But, uh, I think you're right. Tartan off the bus and playing, and so far not helping themselves out yeah. defensively. The Panthers with one error on the day. And they'll go back out there with Alex Reynolds with now a 3-0 lead here on North Metro TV. J.W. Cox and Jeff Densmore, the entire North Metro TV crew, been out here working hard all afternoon. 8-3 and three for Reynolds. Ooh, that's pretty good. Getting a lot of the starts, 78 innings pitched. You see less than a walk or a hit. Oh, putting a lot of runners on, less than just over one per inning. Here's will face the number nine hitter, Kaylee Stiff. Leads off with a strike, and then it'll be Morgan Brady and Claire Herzog, the one-two hitters. See if Reynolds can string some strikes together and move through this top of the third. Pitch off the outside part of the plate. It's one and one. And some long ABs both sides. Yeah. Plenty of balls fouled off. And that also could tell you that the both pitchers are throwing strikes. There's a foul ball and a ball a little low in the zone. It'll be one and two. Pitch again, fouled right back. Reynolds not some overpowering strikeout numbers as you saw there in her 78 innings. That one's popped up, foul territory, right side, first baseman, Thunborg over to make the catch. And if you can get outs like that, Jeff, you'll yep. take them every time. Absolutely, that's a nice catch. Those are some of the outs that Tartan has been unable to capitalize on. They've paid for it. And here comes the top of the lineup with Morgan Brady. Brady. Morgan Brady going to the University of Minnesota. Huh? One of the two D1 bound players on this team. Ball rolling over. And it hits the very same car again. <laughs> Note I'd to self, don't park over there. I'd probably move that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Breaking ball misses, it's one and one. Catch a DVD of any of these games, order that at NorthMetroTV.com. Watch the, stream the games on YouTube as well as NorthMetroTV.com. Pitch swung on and missed. So whichever way you're doing that right now, yep. whether you're watching on a DVD or yep. watching it on YouTube, we thank you. Yeah. Pitch swung on and missed, strike three. There's out number two. Looking for her first one, two, three inning. Claire Herzog 
will be the last thing standing in the way for Alex Reynolds. She has three strikeouts now in this game, two in the last inning. 0 for, 0 for 1 with a uh, fielder's choice. Last time up. Strike out the knees there. Brown ball slowly up the middle. The shortstop Walrath with it over to first in time, and it is a one, two, three inning. Fly out, strike out, ground out, and we go to the bottom of the third. Panthers still leading it three to nothing here on North Metro TV. If you need seamless gutters, whether the job is large or small, you can say, I know a guy. For your full service landscaping, you can say, I know a guy. If you need commercial or residential lawn care, you can say, I know a guy. I'm Charlie Walker, and if you need professional seamless gutters, landscaping, and lawn care, you can say, I know a guy. In the nation, our agents are always there, helping make sure that when your life changes, your nationwide insurance coverage changes too. We put members first because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation where protection is personal. Nationwide is on your side. In Anoka County, contact Twin Cities Insurance Group, your nationwide insurance agent. Third inning, Panthers leading three to nothing. Mattias Skierka leading it off. Second pitch, CC's down to shortstop, and that time the play completed, 6-3. And there's one away for Katie Thunborg, then Matty Walruff will follow. Hard hit there, good job by the shortstop. Non-conference high school girls softball action. Tartan in Spring Lake Park. Pitch taken for a strike by Thunborg. That one lined out towards right. Down for a base hit. And the younger of the two Thunborgs will be on first base. Good piece of work there, a good shot. Andy Rail Raffle. Walraff reached on that error when the right fielder dropped the ball as there's a line shot out towards center field. And this time the center fielder Wheeler equal to the task. Puts it away for out number two, so swinging. Early are the Panthers making contact. Springer Park hitting the ball a couple times here, a couple of hard for the uh, Panthers. And ball one down in the dirt. Three nothing. The Panthers score two in the first inning. RBI single plus an error, brought two home. That one's popped up. We'll just make its way over the fencing. Good one hop play made in foul territory. The one and one. It's Nicole Griffin who had that RBI single back in the first standing in. And she lines it hard out in the right field. One bounce down in front of the right fielder. She fires the first, just missed her. So there'll be runners on at first and second with a pair of singles, two down. Two for two now for the left fielder, Griffin. And bring up Thunborg. Spring Park with a couple of ducks on pond here. Two outs. High out towards right field, right fielder raging in this time. Under it is Herzog and she puts it away. First pitch swinging and into and out. So three down, two left 
But after three, Panthers still lead it three to nothing on North Metro TV. With gold at all time high, take that rope and say bye bye. Earrings, bracelets, rings, and chains. We buy gold at your exchange. Don't send your gold to oh, someone strange. We buy gold at your exchange. Spring Lake Park, Frilly Blade. We buy gold at your exchange. Your summer off to a flying start. Discover Aviation Days, Saturday and Sunday, June 1st and 2nd at the Blaine Airport. Join Ben Hale and Danica Peterson every Friday on North Metro TV News. Well, there it is, three to zip. Panthers leading top of the fourth inning. Laney Hanahan hammers it down the left field line, just foul, short hopping the wall. Just one hit allowed so far. Came back in the second inning by Alex Reynolds. So far, pitching the shutout. Making three unearned runs stand up. Swing and a miss, one hard long strike. Now swing and a miss for strike two. Upstairs, ball one, one and two. Three strikeouts for Reynolds. The lead single in the second, then she got back to back strikeouts to end that inning. Here's a pop up, foul territory, first base side again. Thunborg over for it. She makes the catch. Back-to-back -back innings start with a pop out to foul territory on the first base side. And now Abby Langer stands in. Well, you know, with the uh, cartons, if, if you know, the, that error didn't uh, happen, it wouldn't be uh, nothing right now. No, zero, zero, so. Kitty Tan has been tossing a great game herself, yeah, except yeah. for those errors behind her. Yeah. Springer Park, though, hitting a couple good shots. Bunt shown and missed the 0 and 2. To Langer, she's 0 for 1, popped out to shortstop. Allison Hazard would follow. Line shot off the glove of the third baseman, and it will drop right in front of the shortstop wall raft and just hit too hard for Polish. That was a line screaming hit for hit number two of the game for the Titans. The Titan that came up with hit number one, Allison Hazard stands in now. Yeah, that was that was a good shot though. That smashed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought would, maybe. I, I wouldn't have hit air. I got a hit on that one. Absolutely. Yeah. Thought maybe Walrath was going to have a chance to pop it out of the air as it popped to her. Bump yeah. foul back off the screen. I thought maybe <laughs> we'd see that, but she couldn't quite recover in time. It is the hot corner down there at third. Runner at first now. Hazard the left fielder. She singled and was left at second base back in the second inning. One out, runner on first here in the third. Make it the fourth. Bunt right back to the pitcher. Reynolds just goes to first for the sure out. Whoops. She tripped there, huh? Slip over the bag at second base. Hopefully Langer's okay. She's still down on the deck. Does get up slow and I tweaked your knee. Yeah, well, look Take at a look that. at the sacrifice. Yeah. See what happened there. Reynolds goes straight to first base with it. Looks like Langer's okay. Sacrifice goes 1-3. Wheeler's gonna stand in. 
Another RBI chance here for Tartan. Another chance for Alex Reynolds to slow the, to slam the door. First pitch taken for a strike. I watched her her uh, knee is pretty well bandaged there. Uh, her, uh, braced up there. Yeah. Ground ball right back to Reynolds. She'll snap it with a smile Ooh. on her face. Low throw, but picked out over at first. One three on the put out, another hit, another runner stranded. We're through three and a half, and the Panthers still lead it three to nothing on North Metro TV. If you need seamless gutters, whether the job is large or small, you can say, I know a guy. For your full service landscaping, you can say, I know a guy. If you need commercial or residential lawn care, you can say, I know a guy. I'm Charlie Walker, and if you need professional seamless gutters, landscaping, and lawn care, you can say, I know a guy. In the nation, our agents are always there, helping make sure that when your life changes, your nationwide insurance coverage changes too. We put members first because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation where protection is personal. Nationwide is on your side. In Anoka County, contact Twin Cities Insurance Group, your nationwide insurance agent. Well, JW, it's still three to nothing in the bottom of the fourth. Be the seven, eight, nine hitters for the Panthers here in the top of the fourth inning. Make it the bottom, excuse me. It's Polish, the third baseman, starts it off. She's 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Ground ball down towards third, foul. Polish, Hatton, and Peck. They're combined 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts and a walk. All against Keedy Tan, who you mentioned last inning. Jeff, if not for the errors behind her, she'd be throwing away out of a ball game as well. 300 runs. It's been the story of this one thus far. Swing and a miss. The pitch sailing up high. That had good movement rising. Well, Strikeout number four. Tartan uh, went 8 and 11, uh, did, you know, in the 2012. Uh, but, you know, th there's not a lot of uh, uh, players, actually. Right. What a deep team. I think they might have been thinking a little bit more this year with all yeah. the seniors we've mentioned yeah. that are moving on. They were from the University of Minnesota down to Winona State yeah. over at Wisconsin Eau Claire as well. That's where the catcher Hanahan is going. Yeah. Samantha Bruno, one of the outfielders, going to Argosi. I don't know where that is. I don't know. I, I never. I have to get our crack research team on that one. <laughs> a 1 1 swung on and missed. I can see them scrambling in the truck now. Yep. Oh, yeah. Could be a one, two. Swung on and missed. Off speed action from Tom that time. She's got two more strikeouts this inning. Five of her last eight outs have come via the punch out since the second inning. Four hits allowed. Breaking pitch just drops too low. Okay, Argosy Un University is in Chicago. Chicago, yeah. Illinois. Yeah. That was not the crack research team. It was Jeff yeah. Dinsmore. That's right. Tracking things down. That's popped up left side. <laughs> Could in the inning <laughs> run over for the shortstop, not in time, and Stiff can't quite get there. Long run to go for that, so it'll just drop as a strike. Bases clear, two outs. So that is where Samantha Bruno will be headed. <laughs> yeah, but look at the, the third chance. baseman. You see her. You'll see her in this picture here in a second. No. The shortstop couldn't quite get there. Swing and a miss upstairs with the fastball. 
And that is strike two. Oh, it was two and one. It was now two and two. But yeah, they had me and the rest of the defense fooled. So one more for the punch out. Tan knew it. Ooh. Line just over the head of the second baseman down into right field for a base hit. Breaks up the string of strikeouts in this inning and will extend it for Lexi Lutke. The top of the lineup, her third at bat. She's one for two with a punch out. Lukey singled, stole second back of the first, then was picked off. Great throw by Hanahan. Down behind Lukey, who also slipped down. Ball down in the dirt. It's 1-0. Ground ball slowly right side. Second baseman to play with the runner behind her over to first in time, just beating the swift Lexi Lutke. 4-3 on the put out. That's the end of the fourth and after four. Three nothing. The Panthers still leading the Titans of Tartan on North Metro TV. With gold at all time high. Take that rope and say bye-bye. Earrings, bracelets, rings, and chains. We buy gold at your exchange. Don't send your gold to oh, someone strange. We buy gold at your exchange. Spring Lake Park, Frilly Blade. We buy gold at your exchange. Your summer off to a flying start. Discover Aviation Days, Saturday and Sunday, June 1st and 2nd at the Blaine Airport. Yeah, aviation. That's a, a good time. You said that the uh, Blue Angels? Yeah, the Blue Angels were going to be yeah. in St. Cloud at, a, at an air show. Yeah. Uh, they had to pull out. They've pulled out of a lot of sh more shows than they usually do. Wow. There's some funding issues. It still should be a good time had by all. Yeah. Aviation day is up in Blaine. Heck yes. We're here in Spring Lake Park, first pitch swinging. Sammy Bruno headed to Argosi College in Chicago, <laughs> Illinois. <laughs> Swings and fouls it off the left side. Didn't even know and she where was is up that? first. Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, there you go. See? The more you know. <laughs> She's 0 for 1. Bring that up. <laughs> Five of the six seniors off to play and continue their career for Tartan Titans. Pitch outside, it's one and one. Three runs coming in the first two innings for the Panthers, two in the first and one in the second. So far, Alex Reynolds making it stand up, delivers a strike, it's one and two. Since that second inning, the Panthers have left three runners on base. All game, it's been three runners left on base. For the Titans, that one's flared out towards center field. Lukey, though, supremely confident. Underneath it makes the catch. Out number one. Keedy Ton, the opposing pitcher, 0 for 1 with a strikeout looking. Try and help her own cause and chip away just a little bit. The number nine hitter, Kaylee Stiff, be on deck. She's had a good game, actually, pitching very well for you, the Tartans. Five punch outs, all coming over the last three innings. None of the runs are earned at this point. She's allowed four total hits, make it five. Walked a couple of batters. That hurt her cause. Two of the runs have come home off of walks as well, so that'll always come back to bite you. But that about the only blemish so far. The 2 1. Swung on and missed. Strike two, two and two. Cloudy a little bit now. 
Wind picking up. We could have some rain coming in. A one, two, swung on in, missed strike three for her own ledger. Alex Reynolds with four punch outs. She's an out away from her second one, two, three inning of the day. She hasn't faced more than four batters in an inning yet today. Fouled straight back. Panthers leading three to nothing. Tartan. Ball upstairs. It's not going to rain on you on your way home. I know you brought an no. alternative mode of transportation. Yes, yes, I've got my uh, my bicycle bike. Yeah, yeah, and it, yeah. It's. I hope it don't rain. Yeah, we'll be all right. Better not. You don't live that far away. No, no. Pitch swung on and missed. Jeff saving some gas money with gas up at <laughs> yeah, no 429. Kidding. No kidding. Yeah, 419. That's that's unreal. I that, that, I don't understand that. Pitch flared out towards right field. It's gonna get down for a base hit. So a two-out runner. Another base hit, the third of the day for the Titans, and it brings up the top of the lineup in Morgan Brady. Morgan Brady, head of the University of Minnesota, and everybody knows where that is. Yeah, I know where that is. You probably drive there, uh, maybe with your eyes closed? Uh, probably not. No, oh, not, okay. Uh, it's not safe. No. Certainly not on your bike. <laughs> no, not on a bike. <laughs> End up in the river that way. That's a good way to, yeah, yeah, good way to go yeah. for a swim. Yeah, that, that would be. Two outs, big swing and a miss by Brady. She's 0 for 2, reached on an error back in the first and struck out in the third. There's Jeff Dinsmore's bike. There what it a is. beauty. Oh, yeah. The cruiser. Yeah, that's right. Cup holder and everything. <laughs> Swing and a miss. <laughs> yep. It's 0 and 2. So cool the cold one on there now. Over there. <laughs> Pitch upstairs for a ball, and it's 1 and 2. Right here in the heart of a bustling neighborhood in Spring Lake Park, there's even some lawn mowing going yeah. on across the street. Ground ball down towards short. Wall wrap up with it goes the long way to first six three put out. A two out single is stranded after th four and a half. It's still three nothing Panthers making it stand up here on North Metro TV. Nationwide Insurance. Contact your local Nationwide Insurance agent, Twin Cities Insurance Group. Your Exchange Check Cashing. We buy gold at your exchange. Charlie Walker Companies. I know a guy. They can handle all of your exterior needs. So there's our score. It's Three runs for the Panthers with five hits and one out error. The Tartans, no runs, three hits and four errors. So, bottom of the fifth inning, J.W. Cox, Jeff Dinsmore. See what the Panthers, degrees. yeah, 80 degrees yeah. and cooling, I'd yeah. say. Yeah, a little cooler, yeah. yeah. I'll get on that. The update, <laughs> he can find anything on his phone. <laughs> Geography, <laughs> weather. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Best bike path to Minneapolis. <laughs> Ground ball, first pitch swinging down towards shortstop. Stiff up with it over the first in time. Just one down quickly as Matty Eskirka is retired. Katie Thunborg and then Matty Walrath now scheduled. See what the Panthers can do to add on. They need six more outs as you get a second look. At first pitch swinging ground out. This game started Ooh, with nice. a near ground out that turned into an error, one of four errors by Tartan that has been the the key to this game, or we would be sitting here 0-0 pretty much. Both teams leaving runners on base throughout the game. That's 81 degrees now. In oh, Spring, in well, so what do Park. I know? In Spring Lake Park, it's 81, 81 degrees. Pitch taken down low, it's 2-0. My internal th thermometer way off. <laughs> 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 
but still a beautiful day yes. for some high school softball. Popped up, that'll get foul. Watch my bike, don't hit my bike. <laughs> Stayed away from it. I think you need a bell on there too, do you think? I would think so. Let people know you're coming. <laughs> Flared out towards left and oh! a sliding grab by the left fielder, Hazard. Woo! That's a nice catch. Absolutely a gorgeous basket. catch. Basket catch, and she made it too. That was dying quickly on her, and she had to get on it. Here, look at this. Look at it, right? Oh, nice catch. Perfect. Got the two hands yeah. on it to secure it as well. And there's two outs. The defense is there's a strike delivered by Tom. The defense is behind her now. See what the offense can do. They've only got six outs to work with. Ground ball foul. In the on deck circle off the bat of Maddie Walraff, who's over two, reached on an error and scored. Popped the ball into right field, went in and out of the glove of the right fielder Herzog back in the first inning. Walraff ended up on second, scored on the Griffin single. Line shot off the glove of the shortstop that time, and Walter with a clean single. And there's a two out runner for the Panthers, just like there's a two out runner in the top of the fifth for Tartan. Rolls it over to Nicole Griffin. She's two for two, single, and an RBI in this game. Second run came home on an error on that same hit out to left field. Pitch taken upstairs, throw behind the runner. Hinahan always quick with the release. Walraff has some speed over there at first base. Line out in the left again, and Hazard right there. Make her second put out of the inning, hit right at her that time. After five full still, the Panthers with the lead, 3-0 on North Metro TV. If you need seamless gutters, whether the job is large or small, you can say, I know a guy. For your full service landscaping, you can say, I know a guy. If you need commercial or residential lawn care, you can say, I know a guy. I'm Charlie Walker, and if you need professional seamless gutters, landscaping, and lawn care, you can say, I know a guy. In the nation, our agents are always there, helping make sure that when your life changes, your nationwide insurance coverage changes too. We put members first because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation where protection is personal. Nationwide is on your side. In Anoka County, contact Twin Cities Insurance Group, your nationwide insurance agent. Allison Heiser, Hazard, what, look at this. What a nice catch. Whew, wow. Play of the game this yeah, far. absolutely. So the Tartans. Help keeps it 3-0. Yeah. Now they have to find the offense against Alex Reynolds, who has not been unhittable, but stranding runners. So she's locked it up when she has put runners on base. She's had one on base in every single inning. Check that, except for the third. Looking at the Panthers, they've had a runner on base every inning. It's a one, two, three, third inning for Reynolds, who delivers a strike to even it up at one and one. J.W. Cox, Jeff Densmore, North Metro TV. Let's see if the Panthers can secure six outs and find their 11th win of the season. Bunt right back up to the pitcher. Reynolds has to go quickly, and it runs into the back of the runner. So that's going to put Claire Herzog on base, and she's feeling it a little. I think it did go off the back of her helmet. We'll take a check. Trying to get something started. Throws Ooh. it, and yeah, a little collision with yeah. the glove and the ball, dinking off her helmet. Yep. So she'll be on with the E1, and we'll see if the Titans can make the error 
on the Panthers stand up and looks like we'll have a, a pinch runner check in here. No, she just takes a jog over, stretches it out, and her zog's right back in there. So on with the E1. They had a leadoff runner on in the first two innings that was eventually stranded. And now a leadoff runner here in the sixth. Ball taken down low, it's 1-0. Laney Hanahan, the catcher, pops it out into left field. That's actually pretty deep. Back for Griffin, right with her back nearing the wall. Griffin makes the catch, had to go a long way. That was put a charge into. I thought it was going to go. Actually looked like it was going to go, but nice catch. Good job by Griffin. It's 0 for 3 now for Hanahan, and Abby Langer, 1 for 2, stands in. First pitch of ball sailing outside. Pitch taken for a strike. It's one and one. Pop back up, straight up over the plate. The catcher is Skierka puts it away for out number two. Two big outs after the leadoff error and Reynolds a chance to strand another runner. Four so far stranded. As Allison Hazard, let's see. She made the outstanding play in the field. Yeah. We'll see what she can come through with the stick. Two outs in the sixth. Line Ooh. just foul. A single and a sacrifice, one for one on the day for Hazard. And one again. It's time lofted foul down towards the corner. Griffin will pick it up and shuttle it into the infield. Turn it oh and there. two. Ooh. She turned on one there. See what it takes to keep one fair. There's Alex Reynolds, a pitch away from getting out of another jam, and it's popped up. Looks like she will. Left side of the infield, Walraff going out. Two steps onto the grass and makes the catch. So a leadoff error does no damage. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Last chance for the Panthers to see if they can add on and then try and close it out in the seventh. They lead it 3-0 on North Metro TV. With gold at all time high, take that rope and say bye bye. Earrings, bracelets, rings, and chains. We buy gold at your exchange. Don't send your gold to oh, someone strange. We buy gold at your exchange. Spring Lake Park, Frilly Blade. We buy gold at your exchange. Summer off to a flying start. Discover Aviation Days, Saturday and Sunday, June 1st and 2nd at the Blaine Airport. Bottom of the sixth. Panthers leading three to nothing. And ball outside. I almost caught that one. I, I just. Uh, that was the closest you've come. Yeah, I was there. First pitch popped out of play. It's 0-1 on Amy Thunboy. The 0 1 pitches outside. Errors have been the story of this one. There's one out, and excuse me, two outs and one on in the first for the Panthers when a fly ball to left field was dropped. Ended up putting runners at second and third. Then a single brought one home. The ball was overrun in left field. Brought a second run home. 
That one's hit hard, though, by Thunborg out towards the gap. Center field arranging over a good two-handed grab by Wheeler. And April Wheeler takes away possible extra bases from Amy Thunborg. She's now 0 for 3. She hit that nice in the gap, but uh, Wheeler, good, good catch. Now Leah Polish. Again, with an out and a runner at first base via the walk. Strike out in a wild throw down to first base. Allowed the runner to come all the way around and score. Well, they might have gotten out of that inning without a run. But as it is, the three runs standing up. And Alex Reynolds will try and get three more outs. That one's lofted out towards second base. Easy can of corn for Langer out there. And there's two down for Brianna Hattonen. A lot of credit to both pitchers today, working around in and out of jams. Ball popped up, foul territory, third base side, and will stay foul. Five runners left on for the Panthers. Four, five runners left on for the Titans as well. Hatton walked and scored in her first at bat. Ran through a coach's stop sign for run number three. <laughs> Takes the ball down low. It's one and one. Popped up, shallow on the infield. Pitcher coming over, and Don makes the catch. And that is their first one, two, three inning of the day. And so we go to the seventh with the Panthers needing three outs to secure it, leading three nothing here on North Metro TV. You need seamless gutters. Whether the job is large or small, you can say, I know a guy. For your full service landscaping, you can say, I know a guy. If you need commercial or residential lawn care, you can say, I know a guy. I'm Charlie Walker, and if you need professional seamless gutters, landscaping, and lawn care, you can say, I know a guy. In the nation, our agents are always there, helping make sure that when your life changes, your nationwide insurance coverage changes too. We put members first because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation where protection is personal. Nationwide is on your side. In Anoka County, contact Twin Cities Insurance Group, your nationwide insurance agent. Well, you know what? It, it's it's 80 degrees or 81 degrees, but I'm, I'm still excited for football, man. I just, football, football, football. No joke you're talking no. about it up here in the stands in uh, between innings. Football, 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 well, man. Well, summer practice with school's going to be up out here yeah. in about a month yeah. or so, and so then the next <laughs> thing on the schedule is summer practice. But here, softball three outs away, and there's a first pitch swinging pop out for April Wheeler. Mm -hmm. And there's one down, so Alex Reynolds looking for the seven-inning shutout. Has allowed three hits today, five base runners. A couple of errors behind her. She has stranded those. Four errors behind Kitty Ton. She's not been able to strand those since there's a ball taken by Sammy Bruno. It's 1-0. Oh. Last hacks here for the Tartan Titans. Popped up, this time shallow on the infield. In comes the third baseman, Polish, and makes the catch. So two quick outs, and here we sit. We'll be one softball game closer to football. Yep, exactly. Thanks to the whole crew. Yeah. And on a long, warm day, getting everything set up and then set up and wait. Popped up foul. Careful my bike. <laughs> Don't hit my bike. You've made it this far. Yes. Jeff, it's been good to be back on the air with you again. Yeah, yeah, it's been a good time, bud. Haven't hit it with you this uh, spring just yet. Ground ball down towards third, over to first, in time, and the Panthers secure it. The 5-3 put out in a 1-2-3 seventh inning. The final yeah. six batters retired by Alex Reynolds. And yeah. three unearned stand, stand up. Man, the Panthers yeah. just did what they had to yeah. do, Jeff. Yeah. 
The Springley Park Panthers with three runs on six hits, two errors, and the Tartans no runs on three hits and four errors. And uh, you know, it, it, like you said, that that was uh, it could have been easy zero zero game. Nicole Griffin, the big day, two for three with an RBI as well. A couple of runs scored. Maddie Eskirka scored a run, as did Brianna Hatton. And the whole team pitching in for the three nothing shutout victory. Alex Reynolds gets the win. For Jeff Dinsmore and the entire North Metro TV crew, I'm JW Cox. Thanks so much for watching, everybody.